lovies welcome back to crazy but not dangerous i'm shorty vaughn super excited about today because we are going to have wraps for lunch and yeah they're going to be super yummy and delicious we're going to use some leftovers repurpose them that's a good thing not letting anything go to waste let's get down to it because i'm hungry so the other day I made this beef roast in the um, instant pressure cooker and I am just going to go ahead and slice this very thinly. Piggy is very excited that I have the roast out. Yes, but he has to eat, he has to eat some of his breakfast before he can have any kind of yum yum. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to make two wraps. I have enough leftover roast here probably to make quite a few. Um, but yeah, we're just the two of us. We don't have any company today. Nobody's knocked on the door yet. There we go. Okay, so we have some of the sliced beef here. And we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Bought these wraps over at the Albertsons. Um, a plain flour tortilla would work just fine. A plain corn tortilla, if you're gluten free, would work just fine. And we're going to go ahead and get two of these out. Lay them right here on the counter. Now, I have washed and sanitized this counter, oh, probably about five times today. So, not worried about cooties. Ray, no cooties. One of the things that I like to always put on my wrap as the very first layer is a little bit of cream cheese. And I think that that is an excellent way to start out a wrap because it really will be like the glue to hold your wrap together. And you can use any cream cheese that you want. If you had any of that herbed cream cheese left from the cucumbers, that would be totally delicious. Absolutely. And I'm going to spread that even out to the very edges. Because it's going to be my glue. It's going to keep my wrap all nice and compact. Yes, absolutely. We've got the, we've got the uh, roast beef that we have sliced very thinly. And then I have this little bit of blue cheese. I love blue cheese. Now, you don't like blue cheese? You know what I would recommend would be provolone. Provolone would be delicious. I think roast beef and provolone goes together great. Cheddar would be awesome. Pick your favorite cheese. Andrew was super excited when I brought this blue cheese home um, because we don't have it very often. I think it's a little pricey. Um, but at Safeway, at my Safeway, not my Albertsons, but my Safeway, on Friday nights, there's a little guy from the deli that goes through, scans all the cheeses, and then marks all the ones down that are going to be going out pretty soon. And so I like to go about 8 o'clock at night and peruse the fancy cheese aisle for all of our little extra special yum yums. So, yeah, I've got this. Got this 30% off, so I was happy about that. And I'm just going to put a few cheese crumbles down. Now I have to remind myself all the time that to build the best wrap, it's even my first tendency to put everything right in the middle. But if you put the thing, if you put, if you start your wrap over to the side and then build over on top of that, it's going to be super easy to roll up. So not in the middle, but slightly to the side. That's how you're going to get your best roll. I have this freshly shredded romaine. Doesn't that look lovely? That's a great, it's a great color today. I was really excited that the romaine was so nice and fresh. I'm going to put a little bit of the romaine down here. And then I'm going to take some of our slices of the roast beef. And I am making this a cold wrap. If you wanted to warm your roast beef up, 
go for it. If you don't have leftover roast, um, some slices, you know, from the deli or what have you, would be perfectly delicious. Okay, I'm gonna load that puppy up because I want roast beef in every bite. Have a little bit of Roma tomato here. Got that over at the dollar store, the 99 cents only store. It was part of a package. It was part of a package of um, like six tomatoes for a dollar. So I wanna get my little tomato slice on here. I'm gonna put two on mine. Yay, hooray. I'm gonna put a little more of the blue cheese crumble on mine because I really enjoy it and I just think that that's amazingly good. Yeah, I've got a little red wine vinaigrette. Give that a little shake up there and then just the slightest drizzle. Just the slightest drizzle. Oh yeah, that tang. A little pepper. Maybe just the slightest bit more romaine. Ooh, I'm getting super excited about lunch. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a roll up. So, I'm gonna pull up from the bottom to create my barrier at the bottom. And then I am going to start rolling as tightly as I can. Get on in there. Get, get on in there, absolutely. There we go. Roll, roll, roll all the way to the end. Put that piece of romaine back in there. I'm gonna press it all together. And there we go. That's gonna be my lunch. That's gonna be my lunch. Okay, but it needs it needs one more thing. It does, just, just one more. I know it's always one more with me. Okay, I've got a little bit of blue cheese dressing too. Yeah, I got this over at Peoria Discount Grocery and I think I paid $1.99 for it. And I am just gonna go ahead and give myself a little dish of it. And I'm using this little plastic dish I got from the Dollar Tree um, for my dipping sauce, the, for the blue cheese dressing. Um, because it has a wide mouth, my wrap is going to fit right in there. Because I used that cream cheese as the glue, my wrap is nice and tight. It's not flopping around. I'm going to have a delicious bite all the way through because of how we folded it. Let's go ahead. Let's give it a whirl. blue cheese dressing all over my face. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. It looks terrific. It smells good. It tastes even better. So a wrap for lunch. A little leftover roast beef. It's nice and cool. Very refreshing. Those tomatoes are really popping. That little bit of the vinaigrette on the inside, just that tang, that tang just takes it up a notch. The blue cheese, rich, creamy, delicious. Who could ask for anything more? All right, my lovelies, I'd like to stay in chat, but I gotta go eat my lunch. Pink Pin needs a little piece of roast beef or he's gonna spin himself right into the floor. Be good, be careful, look both ways, and I'll see you next time on Crazy But Not Dangerous. Have a good day. Mmm. Oh, Peggy. That's good.